Hey everyone, I'm Nog and welcome back to Factorio. Last time we got advanced oil processing set up, advanced oil processing it's called. And we also got, um, what's it called? Sulfuric acid set up and all of the oil cracking over here. So that is very nice. And now it's time to get uh, the sulfuric acid up to our bus so that we can start making batteries and get our robots set up. So we're basically leaving off exactly where we ended in the last episode. So let's get some more research going. Uh, let's see, what do we want? Explosives, portable solar panel. Uh, let's do portable solar panel, though I don't really want to use it. Uh, so, Let's get this going up here. Uh, not there. And let's see. We need it here. There. There. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. There. And there and there and we'll run it here so let's take it down the line ah darn it All right And we need to go quite a ways down. Dang it. That worked. And a little bit further. Like so. And we'll set up batteries here, I think. Maybe we'll just set up battery production for now for our uh, flying robot frames. Have that being produced right here for them only and then set up a bigger uh, battery production further down the line. Uh, yeah, I think that's what we will do. What? Hmm. Hmm. I am not sure. You see the batteries take the sulfuric acid and iron plate and copper plate. And 20 sulfuric acid. We're only producing 50, so we'll probably need to up that a bit. We will need to upload up that a bit because we need to produce at least one every second, uh, probably more, because we want to get to this stuff. Utility science pack. And what do we need to unlock that? Uh, low density structures. The production science pack, we need productivity modules, so let's get all of that stuff unlocked. Uh, we've unlocked the chemical science, we've unlocked the advanced materials processing. We need to unlock productivity modules, so let's unlock modules now. Uh, let's worry about that later. Let's get these uh, robot frames going. So first, first things first is batteries. So iron plate, copper plate, and sulfuric acid. So what we'll do is split this out here. And I, want, I really want to make one a second for this. So that means 80 sulfuric acid, which means that we're not producing enough. So let's go down and fix that. 
and we need I think we need to double it so we need quite a lot of battery production so we need and this is all out how's that possible is it not getting uh, the petroleum gas it needs no it's not why not did we not no we didn't we didn't hook that up uh let's just fix this up a little bit with some pumps i think we have some pumps somewhere yeah so there 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 So this one goes in there, goes in there, goes in there, goes in there, and some power for these two guys. There. All right. Because that way we don't have a loop. Uh, if we just do like this as well, I think that will work nicely. There we go. All right, that should be better. Yes, much better. Outstanding. And these produce two every second. So if we double that, that's 10 every second. Uh, or if we make five of these, that's 10 every second. This needs five every second so that's two of these so that means we need 12 of these things jesus make some more and we need more than that that is a lot okay it is what it is So let's remove these for now, and let's uh, I'll put these down on the hotbar and get some more of these set up. I suppose we could. No, that was three more. So that's six. That's nine. Is this really right? That's 12. That's 24. Uh, let's see. We need 20 a second for just the frames. Just the batteries for the frames. And then we need even more than that. So yeah. We need a lot. And let's just copy this so we don't mess things up. That's insane. That this seems completely wrong. If I am doing some insane miscalculations, please let me know. this seems like a lot I feel like normally I don't make this many and then we need to come out for the water whoops like so and we're going to need more undergroundies. You need to use so many of these. Let's go get them. All right. Let's do speed modules. Uh, production science pack. Actually, let's do productivity modules. Because that is what we need for the production. Productivity science packs. 
Let's go get some more uh, pipes. It seriously seems like I am way overproducing sulfur, but I guess not. Okay. And then we need... The outputs. And we need more power poles, which I again have not set up uh, automatic production of. So that's great. I really need to do that soon, but it'll be done in our mall. And let's see. We need some lights. Uh, let's just do every poll. So we can see what's going on. Like so. And then we need this guy. And let's move these up here so they're not in the same line as the other ones. And these guys need... Um, my brain just stopped working for some reason. Uh, iron plate, sulfur, and water. Uh, so what we could do is... Hmm. Actually, let's just extend this out a bit. And then do them over here. And three, four. And they need to make sulfuric acid. Which means they need two inputs. They need some water. We're going to set up their own uh, water pump for that. And let's see. Uh, need to come over here. And this can go. And go up. Like so. All right. And I need some more power poles. Can I make some? No, I cannot. Let's go get some materials for that. What are we missing? Copper. So let's get some of that. Some iron for the sticks and some steel and let's make all of those while they are producing we can run some water for these guys see this won't actually work you can only do one input that's fine it'll be fine uh, oh. like that and then we just need to run this over and get some water Oops. That's what we're going to do. This is going to be problematic, maybe. No. This might. 
but so far. And stick in this offshore pump. There we go. We are producing water for those guys. And that should mean that we will also be producing our sulfuric acid as soon as this gets hooked up. Lights. And let's just do like that. There we go. I should really do stack inserters, but I don't have the materials for that right now. But they are producing, but not at max capacity, but I'll live with that for now. At least something is coming. All right, we unlocked that, so let's unlock uh, the pro productivity science. And get back up here and get these batteries going. And hopefully in this episode also the um, flying robot frames. So I need four machines for batteries. There. And let's just give them their recipe. Where are the batteries? Wouldn't the batteries be in here? Oh, it's not uh, these guys that make them, right? It's these guys, of course. One, two, three, four. And make batteries. And we need the sulfuric acid to come in here. That should do that. Oh. Yes. And then we need, uh, what else do they need? They need iron plate and copper plate. This one won't be able to get that. So let's just redo this setup a little bit and move it over slightly. And then we'll do like this. Or actually, we, what we can do is just do like we did with the uh, electric engine units and run it up here somewhere. Run the belt up first for the stuffs and get an input for them. There. And then we need this here. And we need undergrounds to go in. This will work just fine. And tell them to make batteries. There we go. And Get this belt going down here, and the iron coming out, and a splitter. Uh, actually, before we do that, I want to do like this, because I want copper to come in on the other side. Let's go over and grab the copper over here. There we go, and we'll split that out here, go underground like that, and there we go. So that's coming in, and we can just remove these for now, and pull this down. here and like that 
So now all of the all that these should be needing is an output and some power. And they should be producing just fine. So let's see, and it takes four seconds, so we don't need fast inserters. See, there they go. Batteries. Three. All right, so that's batteries done. And then we need the flying robot frames. Uh, but I want to do those. Eventually, I want to do those in uh, our new uh, mall. But for now, let's just get them hooked up. So let's see, we can put. Electric engine units together with steel plate. And then we can put batteries together with electronic circuits, I guess. So let's do that. So that was productivity science. So let's uh, move over here and it, up. it takes 20 seconds to make a flying robot frame. So we need quite a few machines. How many was that? That was eight, 10. We really need to set up 20, I don't think so. But we might, but we can always redo it if we change our minds. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn this around and just do this. And we're going to turn this around as well. We're going to get them going on the same line. So where is it there on the ground? And we can actually just do like that. Oops. And they need to come up here. Because we're going to need another input line like this for the other stuff. And what we can do is just turn this around and do like that. So that's those. And let's uh, set up some inserters here. And we might want to do uh, two lines, but for now we'll just do one and one. So there. And that actually means that we have enough long-handed inserters on us as well, which is nice. All right, so then we need some green circuits, which we have here. Let's just pull them out a bit. And we need some steel. that and it needs to come up here so let's see oops so like that <coughs> excuse me and Like that, I guess. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Looks right. And then we need to 
do a split here. And get these going on each side. And actually just go like that, I think, for now. That'll be fine. Okay. So we have that input coming as well. And then we need an output. And we need some output inserters, which definitely don't need to be fast inserters, since it takes 20 seconds to make one. So there we go. And then we just need some power. And of course, some lights, uh, which I need to go pick up. I can put in the ones I have for now. And Oh, it might help to give them a recipe. There we go. And this. Okay. So we are producing flying robot frames. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Let's see, there comes the first one. So, and we're producing at one every two seconds, which I think is acceptable for now. So, that is good. And then we just need to, in order to get robots going, we need logistic robots and construction robots. So, that is actually isn't too hard to do. That isn't too hard to do. Do we want to turn this around? Hmm, I think we do. Let's turn this around. And then we will quickly Get some robots going and for now we'll just stick them in a chest but eventually they'll go directly into a uh, robo port more or less chest than robo port uh, let's do personal batteries yeah personal batteries and they will be automated so that they automatically make sure that we have enough in our logistics system. So that will be outstanding. But so one of them needs advanced circuits and the other one needs regular circuits. So what we could do is do like this. And we will split this, uh, the uh, frames, so that one of them comes out and goes. And this needs to be move over a little bit like that. And the other, we will take over to the other side and. basically do the same. So this will come over like this and go up here. And these take half a second to produce. So we won't be producing them at full tilt, but that's okay. We don't need to be producing them at full tilt. So, and all we need is, that will be advanced circuits over here. So let's get that going. There.
One, two, four. Something weird going on here. Never mind, we'll fix it later. Uh, we need the red circuits. And split. Come up. Actually, we just need them on one side. Let's just do that. And there we go. That's red circuits. And then we need green circuits. So this definitely doesn't go there. I think I have messed up. So one, two, three, four. Two holes. This is correct. One, two, three, four. Screw it, we'll fix it later. Uh. And where do we want the green circuits? Doesn't really matter that much, but we might as well make it just a little bit nice. So something like that. And we need more undergroundies. I am gonna go pick those up. Do we have everything else that we need? I think we do. We could do with more splitters and more belts as well. So let's just pick everything up. So let's see, we need some splitters, we need some belts, we need some undergroundies. We could do with some uh, long-handed inserters and some regular inserters as well. I think that'll be fine. And let's get back and get these robots going. And we'll store them in a chest so that we get a bunch going while we build, build our mall which is going to be the next project is going to be our permanent mall and that is going to be fantastic because then we can just get things as we need them and not even have to worry about picking them up ourselves because we will have robots uh, let's see don't need them on both sides at all all right and basically what we need now is power we do need one more chest we need some steel and build the power here and give it some light as well i should have bought light and then we will build for now we'll just build two chests here and we need filter inserters two of those one there one there and we need some power for them stick it there and this one we will limit to like that, I think. And the same with the other one. That's a lot of robots, but that's okay. And you will grab... What are these? Logistics robots. So this will grab... Uh, uh, construction robots. And this will grab... Logistics robots. Outstanding! Very good. I'm happy about this. We have robots. Now we just need to get some armor and stuff for ourselves so that we actually get the full use out of them. And of course we need some uh, robo ports, which we don't have the materials to make right now, but we will. But uh, yeah, 
uh, we have robot production going so very exciting but uh, that is going to be it for this time guys thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed it if you did why not leave a like and maybe subscribe and i will see you next time